Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thanks very much, guys. Well, the Celtics are developing chemistry. Robert Williams says our older guys are keeping a great energy, preparing us before we even get on the court. When you've got your main players fired up and they're talking in your ear, you've got to follow their lead. Kevin? Veteran leadership. David, that's why we follow you. And you're a veteran on this crew. Great to have you with us. Thank you for the report. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. We've got Bridges. And it's Finney Smith in at the four-man position. And for the Celtics. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's Smart in at the point. And for the Nets, it's been a whirlwind last couple years. Uh, assembling a super team. And before you knew it, it fell apart. But this franchise has been back from the ashes before, go. so don't write off that front office just yet. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Dinwiddie with it. Johnson outside. And he's good on the three ball. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. You get the sense there is a level of intensity right out of the gate. Tatum no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Then Whitty surveying the floor. There's a good screen. Lock at six. Bridges outside. Shoots over Brown. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Well, with the high release point on Mikel Bridges' jumper, it's very hard to contest. Just a matter of being consistent now. Johnson against Tatum. Horford with a screen on Johnson. The leader. Tatum's shot is off. I mean, look, no one guarding you. It's better to not pull up and try the lean. That's to Claxton. Johnson, wide open. He fires. Misses the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. So first quarter, just over a minute and a half in. And the layup falls. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Dinwiddie against Smart. Tatum setting the pick for Smart. The shot from the low post is good. <laughs> the defense looking completely lost. Marcus Smart just toying with them in the paint. On the wing, Johnson. The pass to Claxton. Bridges against Brown. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. And you think about all the anticipation over the last couple months. Doris, the regular season is finally here. <laughs> it is upon us. <laughs> Amen, Kevin. We have been waiting so anxiously for NBA tip-off. Obviously, you're always looking to see the movement of personnel. How well do guys who've switched organizations fit in with their respective rosters? Is somebody now a title contender? So many anxious front offices hoping they made the right decisions. Well, what you love about Mikel Bridges is he is going to accept whatever his coaches and team ask of him. This is what's allowed him to be successful. No clue how he got that one to fall. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And Greg, up and down the Celtics trust. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the core, but also credit to their front office. Rare to find a powerhouse built from homegrown talent. Now, here's Bridges. 
He has five. Johnson finds Bridges. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Brown. But you can see the confidence that Mikel Bridges has in himself. This guy's going to take pride in going up strong, forcing the issue, and getting himself to the foul line. The Nets have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Falls for Bridges. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all. But, Greg, a first-round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. Good on both. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. Now, here's Tatum. I mean, you know, the 41-point performance last game out. The best offensive players in the league get to the free-throw line consistently. This is where you're starting to see growth from Jason Tatum, wanting the contact, inviting the contact. Two shots. First one falls for him. Guys, you think about the Boston Celtics, and obviously the offense is driven by the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So much of what Boston does starts with their wing play. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And doors with Tatum and Brown. If they aren't scoring, they're creating for others. Yeah, both Jason and Jalen took major steps as playmakers, understanding the value of their teammates as release points, as guys who can take some pressure off in terms of the scoring load. And listen, neither guy is finished improving. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Bridges misses. Celtics trail by six. Round kicks to Tatum. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. The Celtics second fifth best the Nets both clubs physically dominant inside the paint and, and that's why you see those outstanding shot blocking numbers now here's Bridges he has seven pass to Claxton Nets passing it around Finney Smith and again it's the Nets missing the Celtics have gone two or five here making 40 percent so far to start out the game Brown feeling out a bit. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. In the corner, it's Bridges. To the middle, here's Claxton. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude. of Mikel Bridges so willing to give it up to an open guy. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. 
And now look at Jason Tatum here coming off a terrific season. Averaged about 27 points a game last season. Eight rebounds and four assists. And he does the heavy lifting on the glass, throwing himself into the rebounding battle with just complete effort. Well, you get the feeling he believes every rebound should be his, and most of them are. This guy is putting up tremendous numbers. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Trailing here by eight. And good that time. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. This is it to Finney Smith. Now Bridges. He's covered by Brown. Bridges passes to Finney Smith. Five to shoot. The Nets need to get a shot off here. That one goes in. Dinwiddie's got his second bucket of the night. Well, efficiency is everything, right? So far in this one, this guy has been on the money. Tatum kicks to Brown. Three pointers off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Johnson in the corner. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Johnson's got six. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Smart with this screen on Bridges. Here's Brown. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. One of Jalen Brown's advantages is the lift he gets off the floor. Just a tremendous athlete. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. Brooklyn making some changes. Royce O'Neal comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Thomas subbed in for Cameron Johnson. Thomas dishes to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie against Brown. Pass to Tatum. From past the arc, taps in the tray. He's got nine. Well, consistent catch and shoot opportunities will be available for Jason Tatum, and he makes good on it. And the pass to Thomas. There's the try, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a brief check of the stats for Williams. Last season, he played outstanding. And he did his share on the glass. Battled his way into the top 15 in rebounds per game. And as you said, just a notch below the leader in blocks last season, he gives a tremendous effort. Absolutely one of the best rim protectors in the league. Good from Thomas. Austin making some changes. Brockton, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And Derek White subbed in for Robert Williams. And both free throws good for Thomas. Here's Smart. Side white. Good and Smart gets the assist. He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rising fire from three point and it is on target. Dinwiddie passes to Bridges. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Bridges. And right away they match it with a three pointer of their own. Bridges has got 10 points in the game. Oh, Marcus Smart, a tenacious defender, which doesn't always show up, I think, sometimes, Doris on the statistical sheet after the game. Well, and in fact, Kevin, different teams have different defensive metrics trying to measure that impact. All you have to do, though, with Marcus Smart is watch the guy work on that end. 
the way he tracks the play, the way he anticipates, just the energy he brings on the defensive end changes the equation. And here is Horford after Mikel Bridges hitting the three. Smart with this screen on O'Neal. Five on the clock. Smart passes to White over Thomas. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Now, Dinwiddie dishes it to Bridges. And Thomas has it in the corner. Back to Bridges. They set the pick. Tries again. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Horford. Smart with the ball. Defended by Dinwiddie. Smart kicks to Brown. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. How about the strength on the finish? Jalen Brown showing real muscle. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Nets. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible What's from up? outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. Brown no good on the free throw. And for Jalen Brown at the free throw line, he has worked so hard on his mechanics, and that's paid dividends in terms of his confidence, guys. Thomas, no good. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Smart deciding where to go with it. It's White on the wing. Smart puts the pick in for White. Back to Smart, and stolen by Thomas. Pass to Curry. Here's Finney Smith. No points in the game yet for him. Passes to Bridges. Here's Finney Smith. Bridges, right side. Over Horford. Bridges shot. Good. And the Nets lead by eight. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Smart against Curry. Back to Smart. The three. It's hauled in by Thomas. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Brogdon against Bridges. Shoots over Brogdon. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Bridges has got 14 points for the game. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for O'Neal. Now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past months for Jalen Brown. And those are some numbers that he can't be happy about. His rebounding totals have taken a dip over the past few months. He's got to get back to giving the kind of effort on the boards we were seeing from him earlier. Thomas with the steal. Curry on the wing. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Malcolm Brogdon. Celtics trail by 10. As to Hauser, beyond the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. Derek White does a little bit of absolutely everything for this team. And what I love the most, his ability to pass it at a high level. Now, here's Curry. Last game, he had 10 points. Bridges against Tatum. Bridges misses. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Last time they met was right here, and they came out with the win. 
And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. Dinwiddie is checked in for the Nets. Nets leading by seven. One twenty-four left to play in the first quarter. Outside for Curry. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Knocks down the three ball. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving. The ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Now here's Thomas. Now the pass to Dinwiddie. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Dinwiddie's got six. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Here's Tatum. White looking around. From downtown. That one's not going to go. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. White against Dinwiddie. There's the triple. Marries it from three-point range. And now it's a 12-point Nets lead. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Nets lead by 12. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And the Nets pretty much in control here, it would seem. They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. Celtics trail by 12. Rodden out there with White. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then it's Mike Muscala, and it's Hauser in at the power forward position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Now here's Tatum. Out to White. Four on the shot clock. Shoots over Curry, and it's White missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And here is Curry. Bridges outside. They get it back. Curry kicks to Johnson. Fires for three. Outside for Thomas. To the paint. Stolen by Brogdon. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Over Thomas. Tatum on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got a bad guy to single digits for the Celtics. You have to be willing to shoulder the offensive burden. I think Jason Tatum is built for it. Johnson outside. Three-pointer. Connects from three-point range. Johnson's got his third basket of the night right there. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day, Greg, falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? It's way more common now. And let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Thomas against Brogdon. 
The kick out to Tatum from outside the arc. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Outside Thomas. Pass to Claxton. They set the pick. Here's Bridges, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, they're playing with fire, putting Mikael Bridges on the free throw line. This guy's so comfortable at the charity strike. For Brooklyn, they have been good at the line so far, five of five. First one falls. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Both free throws good from Bridges. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Outside Tatum. And there's the drive. It's Brogdon on the wing. Williams a screen on Thomas. Just five to shoot. Brogdon the pass to Williams. Right through the D for the layup. But showing that aggressive nature. Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contact. Now here's Curry. Back to Bridget. And stolen by Tatum. From the arc. Hands it from downtown. Tatum's got 15. Boy, he's putting pressure on the defense. That's two from downtown this period. Outside Thomas. Clatched in the pass to Bridges. They set the screen. He kicks the curve. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Six points for him. And how about the payback there, guys? You do you, I do me. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Let's pause to take a look at the teams that were tops in field goal percentage last season. The fourth spot held by the Nets. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but man, they were right there. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And here's Tatum for three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Claxton's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And so White will bring it up for the Celtics. A 12-point game. The kick out to Williams. Curry against White. Six to shoot. Fires top of the key. For three, Brogdon hangs on the trifecta. Brogdon's got his second bucket of the night. Well, making contested shots is a valued skill in the NBA. Go ahead, Malcolm Brogdon. We see you. Johnson outside. For the three. The rebound by the Celtics. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And White kicks to Brogdon. To the inside. And there's the foul. It's on Cameron Johnson. That's foul number two for him. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? 
Jalen Brown's checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Derek White. Then for the Nets, Royce O'Neal's checked in for Mikhail Bridges. And Harris subbed in for Thomas. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Brown's got his third bucket of the night. Oh, great ball movement there. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. Stolen by Smart. Pass to Tatum. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. I love when Jason Tatum is aggressive to score the basketball. He does a tremendous job keeping his focus. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul so. if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Seth Curry. And that one misses. What I love about Jason Tatum, guys, he's already an all-star. But that desire, that hunger, that thirst to be great remains with this guy, and he continues to improve. Now, here's Bridges, and it's blocked by Brown. Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Pass to Tatum. Fires from deep. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Nets leading by four. Dinwiddie with it. Nine points in the game so far. The Nets working the ball around now. The feed to Bridges. Just five on the clock. Launches a three. Rebounded by Smart. Austin's gone 4-7 on three-point shots in the second quarter. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team, but, but hate to play against. <laughs> yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. Now, here's Bridges. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Out against Bridges. Out left to the wing. Here's Finney Smith. And the three ball is good. Finney Smith's got his first three points of the game. Now Dorian Finney Smith increasingly efficient offensively. Good feel for when to rise and fire. Here's Tatum. And he banks in the layup. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Dinwiddie outside. Bridges against Brown. O'Neal issues to Bridges. On deep. No good. Shot missing. Now Boston takes it the other way. Next step for them. The Knicks coming out here to point. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. And here's Tatum for three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Tatum's got 13 points now in the quarter. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Down against Bridges. Shoots from 12. No good. Some solid defense from Brown. Here's the Celtics with the ball. They're on an 18 to 6 run. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Well, Marcus Smart will not let that last three go unanswered. He delivers one of his own. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Del Horford's checked in for Mike Muscala. And Derek White subbed in for Jason Tatum. Harris is checked in for the Nets. Thomas comes in for Mikel Bridges. Oh. 
And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. Kicks to O'Neal. It's Thomas on the wing. The 17th footer. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. Right the pass to Williams. A three ball. That shot, no good. The Nets go the other way with it. On the wing, Harris. He's guarded by Williams. Harris kicks to Dinwiddie. Johnson outside. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Williams, a screen on Harris. And it's Brown missing. Brooklyn leading by five. Dinwiddie up top. Nine points in the game so far. The pass to Johnson. Harris setting the pick for Johnson. Shot clock at six. Takes the three. And the Nets, another three. This is what we call a sniper from the outside. Joe Harris, a knockdown shooter. Brown the pass to White. From deep three-point range, Brooklyn with the rebound. O'Neal's got his sixth rebound on the night. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Then when he shot his off. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. And White kicks to Horford. Horford with a screen on Harris. There's Brown with the three. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got seven rebounds in the game. Thomas dishes to Dinwiddie. There's 126 left now here in the second. Harris setting the pick for Johnson. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. The Nets have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And a season ago at the charity strike, this is a group that shot an impressive 81%. And that one falls for Johnson. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Looking at the last game for the Brooklyn Nets, it was a loss to New York. Up top, Brown. He's guarded by Thomas. Will it go? And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Jalen Brown thrives when it comes to scoring through contact. This is a guy who is constantly looking to initiate that body contact with the defense. One shot. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got nine. Outside Thomas. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number five here tonight. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Brown inside the line. O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal's got rebound number seven for him tonight. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Johnson kicks to Harris. And sinks the three-pointer. Harris has got a pair of triples in the second now for Brooklyn. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Here's Tatum inside. And the slam by Williams. 
slashing with purpose there after setting that screen Williams knows where to position himself in these sets Dinwiddie again smart Johnson with a screen on smart Fader on the way the shot missing you know he made an easy shot so much harder and it really cost him the bucket guys and so it's the Brooklyn Nets their lead at 11 points to end the quarter and they're Three-point shooting has... Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. Some exciting games in store for us. Check. Rate your level of excitement on a scale from one to a million. I'm going to go with 900,000, 800,000, 750,000. Final answer? Okay. Incorrect. Well, I'm glad you didn't ask me. Let's turn our attention to that first half, which left a big deficit on the board for the Boston Celtics. Shot. was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box you out like this, you'd have 50 just on offensive rebounds. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies. Poor fundamentals. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Setting the floor for the Nets. We've got Johnson, and it's Claxton in at the center. Tatum passes to Horford. Offensive rebound. Outside, smart. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Smart's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Boston. Smart against Dinwiddie. Johnson outside. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Boston's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Tatum, and here's Brown, outside, and the Celtics another three. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. And you got to appreciate how much Robert Williams just gets after it on defense. You really do, because he wants to block every single shot that goes up. He hits the glass now with a level of aggression after being challenged by his coaching staff. And goodness, his teammates love his energy. Dinwiddie outside. He dishes it to Bridges. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. It's good from long range. Dinwiddie's got 12 in the game. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Smart with this screen on Bridges. Pulls it from the elbow. Shot is good off the back rim and in. He's got 15. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Down low. Here's Johnson. And Johnson with the stuff. Not a ball stopper on the wing. Bridges with the help. Outside Williams. Round against Bridges. Left side Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Tatum's got 24. 
80% shooting to start the third, four for five. Round against Bridges. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Jalen Brown. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Bridges. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Now a timeout called by Boston. A moment here to see the numbers for Dinwiddie. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged about 13 points a game. Five assists and four rebounds. You know, you look at the numbers and you think that this is great, but we know that he's capable of even bigger production. You know, the numbers look okay, but the eye test tells us unequivocally he is capable of more. That is the sign of a star right there. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. This ball movement by Boston. Brown finds Tatum. Up top, Brown. Defended by Bridges. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut down to six, and the bucket from Brown. Pass to Finney Smith. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Well, that's just a good possession. Dorian Finney-Smith moving the ball. He's been working on that aspect of his game. Smart with this screen on Bridges. Here's Brown. Horford the pass to Brown. A three-pointer off the mark. Nets leading by eight. Now Dinwiddie. 12 points for him. Johnson kicks to Bridges. Shot clock at five. To the wing on the left. Here's Finney Smith. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, this is where Dorian Finney Smith has really come such a long way. What a transformation to a real threat beyond the arc. Williams dishes to Brown. Tatum down low. Johnson on him. And the basket by Tatum. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Passes it to Dinwiddie. They set the pick. It's up a three. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Outside Tatum. They get it again. They're hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Dinwiddie kicks to Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Round against Bridges. Horford with a screen on Bridges. Outside, Horford. The shot's good. Brown making the play. 
Brown's got assist number five here tonight. I'm about to tell you, a veteran shot right there. Al Horford immediately answering back with a three of his own. Go ahead, big fella. Here's Tatum. He's got 26. Pass to Horford. The dish to Brown. Back to Horford. The tray. Rebound, Brooklyn. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Smart against Dinwiddie. Three pointer. Good work defensively by Smart. Celtics trail by 10. That's the three fly. A rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Brooklyn Nets. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game is the first and last of their homestead. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Nets. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of What's their up? shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. Isn't it great? The NBA is becoming a global product. As more games are scheduled overseas. Doris, any locations you'd like to go to call a game? Maybe you and I could do a game in the Bahamas. How, how does that sound? <laughs> Kevin, if they're tipping it up, I'd love to be there. And think about it, beyond the travel and the opportunity to see the world, the opportunity to expose new fans to this game that we love so much, certainly not something to take lightly. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Solid work at the line of seat. Season ago, eighty three percent on his opportunities. Derek White checked in for Brown. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Smart against Dinwiddie. Here's White. Off target from three-point range. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. I've been against Dinwiddie. Tipped away. Bridges with the steal. There's the pass to Dinwiddie. There's the lob to Bridges. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Now here the 2K leaderboard with last season's top rebounding team. Fifth on the list, the Celtics. It was really an impressive campaign for their bigs. And honestly, I think the whole team did a great job of getting bodies on bodies and controlling that defensive backboard. Rogdon looking it over. The kick out to Tatum. Clock at four. Here's the floater. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got three assists in the game. Here now is Dinwiddie. He's got 18. Here's Johnson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Jason Tatum. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. Great shooting for him at the foul line tonight. Seven of seven. Yeah. 
shoot and shoot. And that one falls for Bridges. Free throw is good from Bridges. Celtics trail by 13. Now here's Tatum. 28 points for him. Over O'Neal. Dinwiddie with the rebound. For Brooklyn, they've gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Johnson outside. Offline with his three. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. Here's Tatum. There is it from about 10 feet away. Tatum's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, Jason Tatum, a three-level score, gets to the mid-range jumper. It's good. Timeout called the Nets. Williams, he's checked in for Al Horford. The Nets also changing it up. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Johnson. And it's Seth Curry in for Dinwiddie. to Claxton. Nets passing it around. There's the screen. Here's Bridges. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Rodden the pass to Williams. Outside curve. Let's it go from the wing. Rebound, Boston. Williams has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Brogdon with it. He has six. In the corner. Tatum with it. Kept alive. Got a hand on it. Curry against White. Curry looking around. Bridges outside. There's the pick. Six on the shot clock. That one goes. Count it. Claxton's got his second basket of the night. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. 
I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. It's Thomas on the wing. Claxton the pass to Bridges. Williams comes with the double team. And stolen by White. Right side, Smart. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Nets. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Thomas against Brogdon. Shoots from the high post. That's good on the jump shot. Thomas got five points in the quarter. Outside, Smart. Brogdon with a screen for Smart. Inside, he's looking for Williams and finds him. What I really love about this kid, you know, Williams is that he's physical, he's explosive, and yes, he plays above the rim. He just brings that nastiness to the game. Mikael Bridges has been the guy making things happen for the Brooklyn Nets. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. Back to the action in just a minute. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. Then it's Mike Muscala, then it's White, and it's Hauser in at the four spot. That's the Boston Five. From deep, Johnson. Here's Finney Smith, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, you love to see Finney Smith look to score it inside. He's got length and athleticism. And the first one drops. You talk about a defensive menace. That's Dorian Finney-Smith. He has a knack for coming up with a big defensive play. Often lines up against the opponent's most important offensive player. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Guys, I think what you have to love about Dorian Finney-Smith is his versatility. Skill set-wise, you can play him at either forward position. And in either spot, he's going to give you tremendous defensive effort. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. First free throw is good. And Brown drops them both. Brooklyn leading by 15. Dinwiddie outside. Johnson outside. Launches it. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number seven for him tonight. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. 
Curry against Brogdon. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, that's the attitude Malcolm Brogdon hopes to bring every night. You can't be passive. He is going to attack on the interior. Passes it to Johnson. O'Neal is screen on Brown. Austin making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Dinwiddie against White. It's Curry outside. And the Nets, another three. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Johnson against Brown. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. Well, you have to love how Jalen Brown keeps his attention on the rim. He doesn't let the defense change his shot. Dinwiddie against White. Pass to Curry. Shoots the three. The shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. Outside, White. Fires from the line. Brooklyn with the rebound. Dinwiddie outside. Johnson outside. The three. Let's keep it alive. Second shot opportunity. O'Neal. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, coaches pet peeve there no box out and to me this is a common theme that's running through the league right now guys looking to leak out rather than box out one shot in recent years doris we've really seen the players association stepping up and address player needs and at the same time global social issues. Kevin, it's been absolutely inspiring to see the players use the tools they have at their advantage and their disposal. They want to create needed change, represent themselves, their communities, their organizations. Leadership at its absolute finest. Brown the pass to Brogdon. Out to White. There's the three. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his fourth assist in this one. White against Dinwiddie. Dishes it to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. O'Neal passes to Johnson. Shoots over Brown. And the Nets miss again. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Malcolm Brogdon does a nice job to commit, gets himself a trip to the free throw line. That free throw missing. Malcolm Brogdon has proven more than capable of producing at a high level on the offensive end, both as a scorer and as a passer. And we know he is a quality defensive player. Great positioning, great intellect. He's a true two-way force. Boston making a switch here. Horford's checked in. And he sinks the second. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Brooklyn Nets. 16-point lead. Johnson outside. Lets it go with a three. And again, it's the Nets missing. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Williams kicks to Brown. Over Johnson. 
Offensive rebound, Williams. He's such a physical player. Williams has no off switch, he, which is how he gets these calls. That's good from Williams. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Well, Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. Smart's checked in for Boston. He's off on the second. Nets leading by 15. Dinwiddie right side. It's O'Neal atop the key. Shoots over Brown. And again, it's the Nets missing. For Boston, they've gone 3 of 5 here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Outside, smart. And they'll get another chance. Back to Brown. To the middle and out of bounds as the Nets gain possession and some changes here for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in and it's Jason Tatum in for Malcolm Brogdon. Then for the Nets, Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Johnson and Thomas subbed in for Dinwiddie. Now Thomas. Outside Curry. Back to Thomas. Shot clock at six. Here's the screen. Curls it from outside. And the Nets lead by 18. Boston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Brown. Smart with this screen on Thomas. Here's Brown. Here's Hauser. Carries the long-range jumper. Just a terrific three-pointer. The defense really had no answer. Thomas passes to Claxton. Back to Thomas. High post try, and it's sent back by Horford. Round against Thomas. Round kicks to Horford. Back to Brown. Celtics passing it around. Lock at six. Horford sets a screen for Tatum. No good with the triple. Nets leading by 15. Feeds it to Thomas. And it's blocked by Brown. Wow, twice on the pipe. Jalen Brown with a message for the offense. Nice. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. That free throw, no good. So neither attempt will fall that time frame. And, and even when the stats aren't there, Horford still just finds a way to have an impact on the game. Al is such a high IQ player, right, GA? He always puts himself in the right position. He's an exceptional defender. He's cross-positionally able on the defensive end. He can space the floor as a three-point shooter. You can put him at the four or five spots. So valuable. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Sorry.
Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Then for the Nets, Johnson, he's checked in for Royce O'Neal. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Seth Curry. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what the Nets head coach was going over with his team. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Bridges against Tatum. To the paint, here's Claxton. It's hauled in by Brunk. Celtics trail by 12. And there's the pass to Tatum. For three. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got five assists tonight. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Dinwiddie kicks to Bridges. Pass to Claxton. And they pick up two. And the Nets lead by 11. But when you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Thomas against Brown. Passes it to Dinwiddie. This one for three. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Smart kicks to Brown. Pass to Tatum. Outside, Smart. Back to Tatum. Just five to shoot. Austin needs to get off a shot. Brown outside. The rebound by the Nets. They led the game at one point by 20. Tatum against Bridges. He dishes it to Dinwiddie. Back to Bridges. Over Tatum. Great D that time from Tatum. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. They trail by 11. Tatum with it. Now Thomas defending. Tatum passes to Smart. From outside, off the mark. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Dinwiddie outside. The pass to Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. Johnson for three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Tatum on the wing. Defended by Bridges. And the drought. Tatum shot is off. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Dinwiddie dishes to Bridges. To the inside. Claxton no good. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Williams a screen. And here's Tatum for three. Trains the three-pointer. Tatum's got 11 points here in just the second half. With good defense on you, you've got to stay locked to the rim. Jason Tatum does just that. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And taken away by Brown. Dinwiddie with the steal. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for Brooklyn. They made the most of their free throw opportunities. They, they just shot much better, and that improved their confidence, I think, as a team. It, it was a team that believed they would make those shots. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And really, an important win from a pride standpoint. Nobody likes getting swept, so they're able to salvage a win in this four-game season series.
and watched him all night long. No one could really stop him. Just another excellent game it was for Mikael Bridges. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. Thomas finds Dinwiddie. Pass to Claxton. Bridges against Tatum. Six to shoot. Claxton. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Brown outside. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Mikhail Bridges.